Hi, I'm in the Orland Islands in the Baltic Sea, about halfway between Finland and Sweden, both geographically, historically, and culturally. Uh, in terms of distance covered on the bike or even time spent here, it might not in and of itself merit uh, a video to show the footage here, but it's a pretty cool part of the world. Very beautiful set of islands with uh, interesting and friendly set of people, so I figured it was worth uh, capturing a little bit of this in a video before I head out. For me, one of the fascinating things about this place is uh, what were called homeschool refugees, uh, which were people who left Sweden after the government banned homeschooling in 2011. Now there are 34 families here, which, considering the local population just under 30,000 people, is a significant minority um, who have arrived because they were fleeing Sweden uh, because they didn't have freedom of education. Uh, as I've said uh, repeatedly, my goal in all these travels is to uh, learn more about education, uh, usually specifically science education, but I always have my eyes and ears open for uh, any interesting teaching strategy. So this is a great uh, introduction or, um, yeah, introduction to um, some of the ideas behind homeschooling and its advantages. Um, so far from uh, the introduction I've had, and uh, thank you uh, Stefan, the local chairman of homeschooling, and Jonas, uh, the founder of homeschooling here uh, in Oland Islands, if, if I understood correctly. Uh, thank you both very much for taking the time to uh, explain uh, your struggle, your successes, and uh, some of the ideas around homeschooling and what makes it such an effective method um, when it's done right. Well, so far in terms of what I've seen, the only real disadvantage is it's quite resource heavy requiring continuous presence of adults uh, for a small number of kids, uh, generally a, a family unit um, with at least one adult available pretty much all the time. Um, and that's something that could be difficult for a lot of families to put in place. Other than that, uh, seemed pretty much perfect with uh, the kids being given a lot of autonomy, being guided to teach themselves, to learn, uh, and always having a, a great mentor present. Uh, there are a number of strategies which I hope to, to adopt to my own teaching. Um, of course, I'm not about to have my own kids and <laughs> adopt it that way, but uh, as with any uh, style of schooling or any type of school, uh, there's a lot of ways that you can take the best of what you see there and bring it to your own practice, whatever kind of uh, school or whatever kind of teacher you are. Um, yeah, so some of the big take-homes from this one uh, have been to get kids thinking on their own, get kids doing things, wondering about the world, taking things apart to understand what they're doing, um, and have them have a positive adult presence guiding them through it. Rarely telling them things, often learning along with them, and really treating the kids as adults. I was also reassured to find that a number of the, the good ideas I was able to uh, see in place in homeschooling were things I've already been uh, putting in place in my own teaching and trying to encourage others to do. So just need to uh, keep at it, uh, keep striving to do the best I can do, and keep uh, trying to inspire others to do the same. Now just enjoy the beautiful Oland scenery uh, I certainly have over the past week. Oh, and thank you again to uh, Birch Bark Bob for uh, welcoming me to his home, introducing me to uh, these homeschoolers, and uh, yeah, explaining a lot about uh, Oland, its history, its people, uh, and showing what an amazing place it is. Um, great times, and I wish you all the best.
Thunderstruck. 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 